And now we're gonna open up the PC software configuration for the Wolfcom Vision. So you wanna double click on our Wolfcom Vision logo. And here you will see our setup software. Okay. So now you wanna go to the Vision and just power it on. You hear it vibrate. And now you'll see the current settings populate with all your settings. That means your Vision has successfully connected to the computer and also to the PC software. All right, so I will let you, I wanna to explain to you a couple, a few things about our PC software. Right here where it says change password. If you wanted to set your password on, what you wanna do is you put your password into here and make sure you click submit, okay? The badge ID right here, you could put up to 10 alphanumeric characters right into there. So I could put one, two, three, four. And then the device ID is your Wolfcom Vision serial number. Okay, this cannot be changed and every device has its own unique device ID number. All right, and then you go down this time zone. Time zone is used for if you're using a GPS device, you could select your time zone to your location. We're at negative eight. And this is the time set. You wanna make sure that the time on your computer is correct because if you go down here, this is the time that's gonna be stamped onto your videos and your photos. So that's gonna automatically be synced with your computer. Okay, the date and time. Down here, you can click on this button to go to our website, it's gonna to go to our website and show you all the training videos on how to use the Wolfcom Vision. And the button below for troubleshoot and help, if there's any pro if you have any problems, you can click on that and it also goes to our troubleshooting section on our website to assist you in any problem you have. Right here is the mode select and settings. Uh, some of you, if you don't see pre-record, that means you might not have purchased the pre-record version and you just, you just purchased the consumer version. So this one right here, we're showing you the pre-recorded version. So you have normal mode, easy mode, and pre-record mode. If you wanna learn how to use each mode, you can uh, refer back to the Wolfcom Vision user manual and it explains exactly how to use each mode. Right here, I wanna to explain to you also the different features and settings that we have that you can set. Right here is password. If you wanted password on or off, we have video resolutions from 640 by 480 all the way up to 1080p at 30 and 60 frames a second. We have different compression rates, which is how compressed you want the file, how clear you want your files to be. We have video formats. Uh, we have MOV and MPEG-4, so it's Windows and Apple um, safe, you can use it on both. You have audio record, which is yes or no. This is the audio in the video uh, files. If you wanted to turn off the audio in your video, you just select on no. You have recycle record, which you can select from 30 minutes to one minute. You have pre-record audio. This selection will be blacked out until you click on pre-record mode, this will be, it'll, it'll populate. All right, so let me just go back to normal mode. You have loop record, which is once you're, it's first in, first out. So if your memory is full, if you want it to record over itself, you click on yes. If not, you click on no. You have photo resolution. You can select between three, five, eight, 12, and 16. Five is true and anything above is all interpolated. You have the public awareness indicator, which is what we call our PAL light, which is located in the front of the unit, the recording uh, record light. You can set it to flash, off, or on. You have the date and timestamp. Date and timestamp is on your video and photo files, so if you want it stamped on it, you click on yes. If you don't, click on no. GPS stamp, if you're using a GPS module and you want the GPS location stamped onto the video, you click on on. 
If you are not using a GPS module, just click on off and the GPS coordinates will not be on there. Right here is one touch record. One touch record is also, uh, it's the on and off switch and also the start and stop recording switch on our device. If you click on normal, it's down to start recording and up to stop recording. If you have it on advanced, this is our patent pending technology called AVD technology, which is anti-deactivation video recording. So if you select it on there, it's powered down or pressed down to start recording. And then it's gonna be a up, down, up motion to power off and stop recording. Okay. Right here, we have language, English. And then this is the current settings. So in current settings, it's gonna show what your Wolfcom vision is currently set at, okay? And then down here, you have reset to factory default. You will not need to use this, and if you wanna contact your sales rep first if you're gonna use that so they can explain more about it. You can also use format. Format is to clear out your whole entire device at one shot, so you can click yes or no. And if you were to, if you wanted to change any of your settings, let's say I go in and I want to change the photo, re the video resolution to 720p. Let's select MOV. Let's put it at eight, and let's have this on flashing. All right. Once you set, once you select all your settings, you want to go on to apply settings. You want to click on that, and you'll see that populate. That means it has been saved, okay? If you wanted to view your files that you have recorded, you can click on connect to computer. And once you do, you'll see an autoplay window pop up and you can double click on open folder to view files. And you'll see the file come up, you click on DCIM and then 100 media. And this is the video on your Wolfram Vision. And there you go. All right. So that's how you set up the Wolfcom Vision to your PC software or PC computer.